Hello OG, I'm Tang. Welcome to our glass house here in Pangasinan. Tuloy po kayo! So our house is a two-story minimalist home, consists of three bedrooms, a kitchen, and a whole lot more na makikita nyo once na pumasok po tayo sa loob. Tara! So this is our main door here in the first floor. Uh, on this side is our foyer. The first thing you'll see is our shoe cabinet our pictures and mahilig kasi ako sa scented candles so I like lighting this up whenever I come home just to bring scent sa loob ng bahay. Our compound is approximately 4 hectares. 1.5 lang po yung na-develop sa kanya. Itong bahay po namin is approximately 280 square meters. Over here naman po, we have these customized shelves. As you can see, we don't have picture frames on our walls. Hindi kami masyadong fan nung nagdidikit sa mga dingding namin. So, gumawa kami ng isang area where we can put our pictures, family pictures. Minimal pa rin po. Hindi kami masyadong naglalagay ng mga decors. We like to keep it simple. Less leanness, less clutter. And when you move over, You'll see that we have this plant under our stairs. A touch of green, earthy fields with our pebbles. When you come over here, you'll see our pictures, our print-up pictures from 10 years ago. <laughs> Hindi rin po namin siya hinang. Nasa floor lang siya kasi may pop-off color siya. But we also like the feel na nasa floor siya, parang nasa art gallery. Our home is inspired by industrial design. You'll see that it consists of more of cement finish, metal, and wood to soften because the cement finish it comes out strong. So this is our first room, the kids' bedroom. So this is our kids' room. We have two boys. Their names are Dom and David. We wanted them to share bedrooms because we believe that it sharing bedrooms would make them closer together. They're able to share things and their toys. And on this side, they have two cabinets, one for each. Tapos po, sa taas lang yung mga toys nila. Kasi minsan, may mga toys na silang ayaw laruin. So, ginagawa namin, pag ayaw na nila, tatago na namin sila sa taas. <laughs> Itong wall po namin, kung makikita nyo, accent wall siya. May isang side kasi na parang gusto ng husband ko na since plain yung other side niya, cement finish siya, meron siyang isang wall na accent na nagsaserve na parang decor siya. As you can see, our beds are Japanese-inspired beds siya na padded for safety reasons. <laughs> Just in case they hit their knees or their foot, hindi masyadong masakit. Over here, my sliding doors po yung kids namin kasi ang gusto nung husband ko, may access sila outdoor. Tapos, pakita nila yung greens of the property. And then, over here is their toilet and bath. Uh, Jack and Jill siya because meron din siyang access from the playroom. As you can see, yung door po namin is glass frosted siya to keep in the theme of our home, which is a glass house. Hindi siya kita kapag ganyan. May privacy pa rin siya. Kaya kahit may naliligo sa loob, hindi nyo siya nasisilip. Personally, my dream home was more of a traditional one. More of the houses na nakikita nyo sa mga probinsya. But when I met my husband, who's an architect, architect John Paulo Bauzon, we were planning our house and he said that a minimal house with less things, less furniture, more of clean spaces lang. So I trusted him. So this is our second room, the kids' playroom. Tara po, 
So, inside the playroom, you'll see their PlayStation, video games nila, and an arcade console. And syempre, yung TV, playing OG. Hello, OG! <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe! <laughs> On this side naman po, is also a sliding door. May access din sila outside, and para may view pa rin sila of our green space. We started constructing our home way back 2017. One year siyang ginawa. As you can see, para kami nasa hill. So what they started to do was to patigasin yung lupa just to make sure that our foundation is secure. Ayaw niya kasi nung parang flat. Him being an architect believes na pag may layering yung bahay, mas maganda siyang tignan, mas appealing siya. Gusto niya pagpasok niyo sa gate namin parang asan yung bahay. Now here at the main room, which is our bedroom. Tara, let's go inside. So inside, ang unang yung pung makikita is yung bed namin. The same with our kids' bed. Japanese inspired din siya, mababalang and padded. On this side, makikita niyo po ito na wala kami side tables kasi we already have this for easy access din po, easy na pagdampon. On this side naman po is our TV cabinet. A uh, little backstory: two years coming, walang TV cabinet. Itong TV namin na sa floor lang, kasi hindi namin alam kung paano siya ilalagay na hindi magbablock yung view namin. Uh, very important kasi sa husband ko na pag nakahiga siya is nakikita namin yung outer space namin. So eventually, nagpa-customize siya ng cabinet na pwede namin ipul ito para gumit na siya sa view namin when we're watching TV. On this side naman po, I love to read personally. These books are from my brother-in-law. So kung meron tayong books, meron naman tayong area for reading. I can read in peace and syempre, relaxation na rin. So, andito na po tayo sa bathroom namin. Uh, ang una nyo po makikita is yung his and her sink namin. And a little bit of our toiletries. Ganyan. And then, on this side is our bathtub and our toilet. Uh, itong toilet po namin, may sliding door siya. Kasi minsan, syempre, nagsasabay kayong mag-asawa sa CR. So, para may konting privacy pa rin. We can close this. Yeah. And then, ito naman, ito yung isa sa mga guilty pleasures ko na hindi ko inakala na magugustuhan ko siya. This tub is Japanese one. Uh, sitting position siya dito sa side na to. Malit lang po siya. Itong tub na to, actually, hindi ko siya idea. Idea siya nung husband ko. <laughs> Pero, never pa niyang nagamit. Ako lang talagang gumagamit nito. So, on this side naman po is our open closet. Ah, yan. Welcome to our mini changge. <laughs> we don't have a lot of clothes. Usually, pare-parehas lang yung suit namin. Minsan nga, akala nila hindi kami nagpapalit. Pero, actually, we just buy a lot of pieces with the same kind of shirt. So, to complete our bathroom experience, uh, let me show you po our shower area. So, kung mapapansin nyo po, wala siyang harang. Open concept din po siya. Tapos, uh, baka masabi nyo po, wala kaming drain. Meron siya. Nakatago po dito sa mga stones. So, kapag shower po, ganyan. Wala namang water pool because the water slides directly here. Tapos, dito naman po sa side na to, may windows po kami for ventilation. Tapos, ito, hindi siya ladder. Uh, parang sabitan po siya ng towel. So, easy na sabit tapos kuha po. Here in our part of our home, you might say that hindi ba parang malungkot? Hindi ba parang secluded kayo or isolated kayo. Not really. Parang for us, isolation depends on what you want as the homeowners. We actually like the peace that we have in this part of our compound that is secluded. We like our privacy na kahit tumakbo yung mga anak namin is they can do whatever they want. 
So over here, meron po kaming maliit na bridge. Ginawa po ito ng husband ko kasi gusto niya may separation po yung main house namin from our working station. So tara, let's take a tour inside. So this is our workroom slash classroom. Originally, dapat po theater room namin to. Mahilig kasi kaming mag manood ng movies ng husband ko at ng kids ko. Pero naghit po yung pandemic, so we had to convert it to a classroom where our kids can do their online classes. So over here is my husband's working area. This is where he draws. And then beside it is his Lego collection. Mahilig po siyang mag-collect. So, yung workroom po namin, meron siyang access sa isa sa pinakamagandang part ng bahay po namin, which is our balcony. This is also our breakfast nook. Masarap pong magkape dito, lalo na pag gusto nyo makita yung sunrise. So, let me introduce to you to my family. This is my husband, Architect Paolo. And this is my eldest son, Dominic. Say hi, Dominic! Hi! We live in a compound. In this lot, we have three main houses. My family home, no husband ko with his parents and his siblings. And then the other house is owned by his uh, big brother. So, andito na po tayo sa exciting part ng bahay namin, which is our living area and our dining area. Open space lang po siya. Gusto kasi namin parang kung kahit nasa kusina kami, tas andito yung ibang friends namin, is nag interact pa rin kami together. So, ito po yung pinaka main attraction ng bahay namin. Kaya siya naging glass house. It is our big sliding windows. Tuwing December po, we just open up this window and yun, my fresh air kami. We don't need to open our air condition. Pero ngayon, summer siya. Pag mainit, niro-roll down lang namin yung blinds namin. So, ito pong next part is my favorite spot in our house. My kitchen, my sanctuary. I love to bake and to cook po. So, a little backstory. Uh, yung nag-start ako mag-bake, until now po, yung mixer na gift ng husband ko 10 years ago, siya pa rin ang baby ko at kasama ko sa pag-bake ng mga cookies, cheesecakes. So, over here, uh, ang request ko sa husband ko nung dinidesign niya yung kitchen ko is that gusto ko po sana ng maraming counter space at saka yung mag-cook naman with a view. And then, here naman po is our gas stove. I prefer cooking over fire than electric. So, sa mga nagtataka po kung bakit pala kami yung exhaust, kasi una po sa lahat, ayaw magbutas nung husband ko. Ayaw din yung may nagbablock ng view. So, papakita ko po sa inyo yung parang isa sa mga nakakaaliw na part ng kitchen namin is yung telescopic exhaust namin. So, pe-press ko siya. So, ma-adjust nyo po yung ano nito. You just have to press and turn on the light. Over here is our small pantry. Andiyan po yung mga stocks namin, ingredients, etc. And then, sa tabi naman po niya is our dream refrigerator, Samsung. So, Samsung baka naman. <laughs> Dito, uh, smart siya. Mas smart pa ata siya sa akin. <laughs> so, you can play YouTube. You can search the internet for your recipes. Five years ago, I think this was around... Nag-iba na yung price niya simula nung nagka-pandemic. Pero five years ago, this was around 7 to 8 pm. Yung house lang po siya. What makes our house a home is that it is for us. It is not just for other people to appreciate. So sa amin, ang priority namin when we renovate, when we curate our home, is that it's for us, for our kids. So that ends 
that's our tour. Sana po na-enjoy nyo itong episode and sana po na-inspire kayo sa story ng aming Glass House. And malay nyo po, next time, yung dream home nyo naman po ang ma-feature dito sa OG. So thank you again for watching. Bye! If you have an interesting or inspiring story that you want to share, email us at stories.onlygood at gmail.com. At para wala kayong mamiss na video ng OG channel, subscribe na and hit the notification bell to get updates on our latest episodes.